Welcome back to Build Life. I'm Steve. On our last trip to Kentucky, we swung over to Rain Brothers in Ohio to pick up our rainwater harvesting system, and we did a quick interview with the owner. All right, I'm here with Jonathan from Rain Brothers in Yellow Springs, Ohio. Maybe you can tell us a little about what you do. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, I own a company called Rain Brothers, and um, we put in cisterns. We specialize in rainwater harvesting cisterns, um, mainly for water supply in areas where they can't drill wells or the well water quality is poor. That's us. Folks. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's common in, in this region. Uh, for every 10 wells, there's, there's a cistern. Uh, supplying oh, wow. a house in this area. I didn't um, think it was that many. Yeah, it's it's a huge number. So you guys sell complete kits we do. online we and sure parts do. as well? Yeah, we sure do. Uh, so we have we have tanks and, and this is a automatic uh, cistern pump. It's a submersible pump that is specifically designed for an application like yours where it's a, a cabin build. Uh, you know, you're, it's not a permanent residence. You don't have room for a pressure tank inside your structure. This is an automatic pump. It just uses a little two gallon pressure tank uh, to supply constant pressure to the house. Okay, uh, keeps enough that if you wash your hands, the pump doesn't come on all the time. Right, right, right exactly. exactly. Okay. But is this adjustable, the pressure on it all? Or that, is it? You can adjust it with an auxiliary uh, uh, pressure regulator. Okay. But, but otherwise, it's, it's not adjustable. It has a built in pressure switch and a flow switch so that when water starts flowing, it senses that when it gets to a certain pressure threshold, it'll kick on and start delivering water. Okay. We also have a floating intake that this, this little sleeve here fits over the bottom of the pump. It, it covers the intake on the pump and connects to a flexible hose with a ball float on it. Uh, so this, this hose will thread onto this this pump base, and this float will keep the intake floated towards the So it's pulling the water of off the top then instead of the bottom. Exactly. It, it pulls a lot cleaner water that way because any, any sediment that gets in the tank will settle to the bottom. There will be some that will be lighter than water that will float towards the top. This suspends that intake right below the surface okay. and draws the Just cleanest water in the tank. That's cool. And then we have uh, uh, pre-filters for your for your uh, for your cistern. This is a, a downspout debris filter that will that will filter the water. Uh, downspout connects to the top. And then there's two clean water ports um, that will carry water to your cistern. Um, and a little uh, there's a, a flexible tube in here. So it kind of makes like a trap in there. Exactly. And puts the water through and the debris. Out. Exactly right, yes. It, it opens up that filter screen as the weight of the water comes down and filters down to a 70 micron level, which is, you can't get any finer than that for pre-filtration. That's right. already not not much wider than the strand of a hair. So there shouldn't be any sticks coming out of the Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly right. All right. That's cool. So, and this tank is 1,500 gallons, that, is that right? That's right, yeah. This is, this is a Norwesco tank. Uh, this is on their... Um, non-potable line. Um, it's really it's made from the same plastic as the potable tanks. It just doesn't have the the stamp, the FDA stamp. So it's actually a lot cheaper. So if you're doing a cabin system, you're not paying where you're, for the liability. Right? Exactly. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah, you're you're paying for that stamp on a, on a different tank. So it's and so perfect. like my my wife is not convinced that 1,500 gallons is enough for a family of five to to support the cabin. How, what can you expect, like? Your cabin, and how big is your cabin roof? Uh, the roof is right at about, well, I guess with the front porch and everything, 2,000 square foot. Yeah, so, right so on 2,000 square foot, you're going to be getting 1,200 gallons of water every inch of precipitation. Yeah, and it'll it fill our, it fast. Yeah, sure. so it'll, it'll fill it fast, yeah. So, and, and it's, it, I would be very surprised if you used, you know, as a cabin, you're, you're not going to be so showering. So if, if we're there for Thanksgiving and we have a, seven or eight people there uh, how long can you expect let's just say a family of five how long does 1500 gallons of water last them if Typically, you're mindful if, of it if you're there yeah so um, on a for a family of five uh, in a in a, a permanent residence they're using about five to six thousand gallons per month but that's that's okay laundry that's you know long showers that's sure. uh, watering around the 
Sure. In your garden. So something like this will definitely last a, a week easily. A week or even two if even you were careful weeks. with it. And uh, well, my experience in Kentucky is it's never gone a week without rain. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, exactly. So I think exactly. uh, that'll probably be fine. But. Yes, exactly. Okay, that's well, that's right. cool. I think we're... Uh, I'm about ready to go try and put it in. You know, All right. Dig a big hole. I think your <laughs> back hole will fit on the tree. And you can take it with us. <laughs> All right, so how can people get in touch with you if they're interested in getting a system? Sure. Our website's rainbrothers.com. Okay, that's simple enough. And you uh, ship stuff all over the place? We sure do. And you guys do installs We as do. well, right? Yeah, this, your... is, this is actually our service division here in Yellow Springs, and then we have a, a warehouse in Columbus, uh, which okay. is about an hour from here okay. uh, that we ship out of. And... How far do you guys go to install systems? Um, about two hours from, from here in okay. Yellow Springs. That's pretty... Yeah. Well, you won't quite make it to our place. Yeah. <laughs> we'll figure out how to put it in ourselves. But anyways. All right. Well, hey, well, thank thanks. You so I appreciate much. your appreciate time, it. and uh, yeah, I'll absolutely. call you when we break something. All right. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Thank you. Be sure to subscribe here with this little circle button thingy so you can see us install this system. I'll put together a playlist and make sure we get it all on film. Thanks for watching.